Hi guys, really nice to see you back in the workshop. Um, your team you called the Cranks. Doug's the, the uh, team leader. Um, Doug, would you like to tell us a little bit about the uh, project brief that you were given? Um, and then you can just say a little bit about you know, your backgrounds, each of you, uh, so that we all know where you've come from. Yeah, so basically our design brief was to design and manufacture a, uh, a robotic arm to pick up a 330ml drinks can rotate it through three 90 degree increments, so 90, 180, 270, and then pour it into a container, and then return. So that should collect the can. So I believe you've had one or two issues with the turntable motor, so yes. are you going to move that round manually for yeah, us? Yeah, we're going to have to do that by hand here. There we go. Right. Way up. Way. <laughs> <laughs> and that's real build, of course. That is a few technical issues, but uh, I was actually working as a draftsman for a, a, man, a company in in Hull who manufacture pressure vessels. So I actually came pretty much from industry, um, and came straight straight through university through the foundation. My background essentially. In engineering is non-existent. I uh, actually worked at Morrison's before I came to university, so for me, you know, this course has been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I had no previous engineering background. I had motorbikes in my spare time, so I tinkered with them. But for the theoretical work, I'd never done anything like the engineering. Pretty much all of the parts I think we manufactured ourselves, didn't we? Yeah. Um, we ordered in the the disc here, but it was rough cut, so we had to turn it down on the lathe anyway. Um, these two uh, basically are a giant bearing. There's a, there's a groove cut into the surface of that and the, the top surface of that and the, the underside of this um, to hold a, an 8mm ball bearing. I think there's about 50 individual balls in that. So that's got a pretty, pretty free rotation. Uh, our design, which we came up with, was way too complicated to practically manufacture within the time scale. So we had to change it up and come up with a different design, which involved a lot of bench work, which we haven't really had a great deal of practice, so to get it accurate enough to grab a can took a little bit longer than we anticipated. But we ended up just playing to each other's strengths and team members who were better at the bench work watched over mm -hmm. and sort of gave him uh, an influence into making the component. The base is made of, uh, of sheet aluminium. Yes. How did you actually manufacture that? Um, we actually was a pan and box fold, I believe. Uh, initially, we were planning on doing it from a single piece and then milling out all the meat that we didn't need from it, but it wasn't wasn't cost effective at all, and also would have taken three times as long. So we ended up just using a, a sheet, almost basically a, a net, and then just folding up the the edges, fixing the corners together, and it did saved a lot of weight and uh, a lot of time. Good know. stuff. Now, can I ask you, before you enrolled on your BEng course, had any of you any previous experience of using computer-aided design or using machine tools such as lathes, milling machines, or had any of you done any welding? Um, I don't, I can't really speak for these guys, but personally I had absolutely no experience. So it was really quite a steep absolute learning curve complete, for you, and complete rookie. I didn't even know what a lathe was before I came on this course, so... As potential design engineers of the future in your chosen field, can you tell us what you feel you've learned from the module and what you feel has been most beneficial, Doug? Yeah, I think uh, we learned a lot about the importance between, uh, of communication between the design and the manufacturing. Um, yeah, so yeah, like anyone can really do a drawing and hand it down to a manufacturing team and, and ask them to, to build it, but realistically there might be much better ways of, of manufacturing said component if you'd have actually liaised with the, with the workshop staff or something like that, where you could actually produce that part much cheaper, much quicker and much more effectively if you'd have actually had some kind of communication with the, the workshop staff. So we learnt that when we brought our drawings down to the uh, to, to technicians, to you guys, and found out, like, right, well, that's not really a, a decent way of doing that. There's a much quicker way, much easier way of doing that. So that was quite, quite an important thing we learned. Also... Um, teamwork really is a big part of it. Have you all enjoyed your time that you've spent here down here in the workshop? 
Yeah. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Excellent. It's been a, it's been a sweet relief, hasn't it? From the, yeah, from the yeah, maths. It's, it's, it's one of the better modules, definitely. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Right, well, thanks very much for that then, guys. Cheers. Thank you.